I'm Dennis Cometti. Well, if a green creature approached me from out of space and asked me to show it a good day out, I'd have the sound of the first bounce. To uncover your true potential, you must first find your own limits, and then you've got to have the courage to blow past them. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Takes control of the bouncing ball. And it's close to goal as the ball goes over the boundary line. It'll be tossed in from the boundary. Umpire throws the ball in. Big thump from Ryder. Ward Bent picks up the bouncing ball. The spiraling torpedo from Cleary. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Tomlinson puts it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Clurry is just an absolute superstar when it comes to marking. The ball goes nowhere. He kicks the ball. Jonas with the mark. He slams that on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Rockliffe with the kick. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Can he kick it from here, Richard? He'll need a bigger kick than he has from here. Westoff with the kick. Couldn't complete the mark. A good job keeping it in play there. Doesn't quite manage to pull it off. Great try. The Ruckman battle for position. Munford with a big fist on it. Rockliffe plays a strong tackle and forces the ball to spill free. Ryder hits it. The bouncing ball is controlled. And the mark will be paid. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Wines going for number one. No good. Point for difference. Davis has his feet firmly on the ground and is just a great leader around the club. Mumford spills it. Gray takes advantage. Scully kicks the ball. Both puts his boot on it. Kennedy kicks it. Broadbent gets the interception on the bounce. He boots it. He runs for home. Well, it could be worse, I suppose, Richard. He might as well have just dropped the ball on the ground, Dennis. Williams chucks the ball away. It kicks quickly. Ryder claims the ball. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. 60 meters out. He holds his breath. He puts it out of bounds on the floor. He has a mighty kick at the footy. Coniglio with the mark. Kicks it. Wines gets the upper hand. Get that weak shiitake mushroom out of here. Need was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. He kicks it. He's chopped that one off. He takes the shot. Simon Sands to end the corner. The first goal by first off. Second quarter. Here we go. Just keep going. Everybody gets better if they keep at it. Right, is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Mumford. The ball is socket. A desperate kick there. Williams, a good crummer, gets the loose ball. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Intercepted by Dixon. Whack. Have that, mate. A desperate kick there. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Going for goal number two. His aim was kick stop. Good Adelaide by eight points. Davis playing on out of the goal square. Gets good to high. Nice mark there. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Shaw. Griffin with no time to delay with that kick. Nice work from Jonas. He's got the evasiveness and the flashy tricks of a star. He decides to play it on. He kicks the ball. He gets it under pressure. Mumford getting into position for the kick. He kicks the ball. And the mark will be paid. Green with a chance if he keeps a cool head. Green unloads one towards goal. What is that? Run control to Major Tom. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. 
that was the peg. Port Adelaide for having shots for goal on the run rather than looking to hit targets inside 50. And why shouldn't they when they have so many quality kicks in the team? Jonas missed the ball. A great mark under pressure. West Hoff kicks the ball. The ball heads out of bounds. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Mumford taps, gets the loose ball. Going for goal number one. No! Goes wide for a ball. Good Adelaide in front. My goodness, the wee ball has gone so high, there'll be snow on that one when it comes down. What do you think, Richo? Can he make this one? He's a fair way out, Dennis. It'll test him. 60 meters out. All eyes are watching. What picks it out on the floor? Looks like he panicked there. Nice contested mark by Westhoff. Sends it on its way. Scully Gabbins. Both looking like a Manchester United player. Both. He's a very intelligent guy. He always seems to make the right decisions no matter what's happening on field around him. It's only a matter of time now. Kennedy intercepts it. Mumford gathers the ball. Flurry being penalised there. He lines it up with the goal. He boots it. Cameron gets it behind. Both teams go to the break with a lot to think about. Well, the players have had a good rest and they look refreshed, ready for the third term. They struggled throughout the first half, but there's still a half a game to go. Takes it well. Davis chips the pass. Need racking up the possessions. Can you count that as a moral victory? The power beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 10 to 1. Their disposal efficiency has been fantastic, but GWS need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. He wins the contested mark. Picked by Davis. Skelly gets the upper hand. Sends the Sharon on its way. The bouncing ball is controlled. Sock is the ball away. The loose ball picked up by Mumford. Burn Jones tries his luck along the ground. Well, it could be worse, I suppose, Richard. He might as well have just dropped the ball on the ground, Dennis. Wingard taking aim. A set shot on a 30-degree angle. Wingard whacks one on the boot for goal. Wilson sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Mumford having no trouble taking that one. Chips it down towards half forward. Pittard presents and takes the mark. Pittard has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. Gray with the mark. He slams that on the boot. Wingard takes the mark. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines this shot up. Going for goal number one. Only a behind. Well, if behind the goal, this team would be very rich by now. Kicked in a flurry. The loose ball scooped up. He is it. Boat collects. Delivio foolishly pushes his opponent in the back. He has a mighty kick of a footy. A mark by Paul Pepper. Richo, you followed his career for a while. Can he kick this? He'll need a bigger kick than he has from here. Too far out to score, sure. He's chopped that one off. He takes the shot. Winger. The power leads by 17. There's the bounce. The Giants are only applying token pressure in the ruck. It's just not good enough as a result. The opposition are winning the match. Jonas kicks it. Coniglio drops it. Ward gets the ball. He boots it. The mark will be paid. Lining it up with the goal now. Green puts the ball in the hands of fate. Long marks. He steadies now in front of goal. Going for goal number one. Hasn't got the carry. Big trouble for Greta Western Sydney. They need to kick a few now. Kicked by Jonas. Quarter time here. See you after the break.
The final term has commenced. The more difficult the victory, the greater the happiness in winning. Mumford comes away with the ball. No, oh, that's just giving the ball away. The ball is on the ground, and it's picked up by Ward. He just can't get out of the action. What well, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from the guy wearing makeup. What decisively. Rockliffe comes away with the ball. He runs for home. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. The ball is tapped, takes possession. Griffin kicks the ball. He drops the mark. Amon blocks it, sending it on its way. The ball has been grabbed on the bounce. He picks it up cleanly, winds, gathers the ball. Guided by Watts, Coniglio comes away with the ball. Kicks into the middle. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Johnson was hit with such force that he couldn't hold on to the footy. Mumford with the punch. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Short gets it on the bounce. A rushed kick. Takes it well. Opportunity for long. Anything that goes that far needs a stewardess. Marked by Patton. Lining up the goal now. Kicks towards 50. A wayward kick from Fern Jones. Good mark by Mumford. Kicked in a flurry. And the ball goes sailing out of bounds. Both Ruckman battling for the front spot. Mumford with a big fist on it. Wines made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Ebert had no chance at that one. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Ward takes the mark. Ward can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Passes by hand. Now that's okay. Sometimes you've got to make a small sacrifice for the greater good. Choose to kick it. What had no chance, but at least he made an attempt. Runs into a defender. Good tap from Mumford. Is in his possession. Send the top in, big fella. Heyman marks it. Sends it on its way. Wingard marks. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. A chance to add one more to his tally. Never look like one. Another point. My goodness, the wee ball has gone so high there'll be snow on that one when it comes down. Rydek with the kick. The final score is a good Adelaide, 19, the Giants, 3. Well, that's it from us. Thanks for joining us, Richo. It's been a pleasure, Dennis. We'll catch you next time.
We're underway. The opening bounce. Ryder directs it down. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Given that to an almighty thumb, Westhoff takes the mark. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. 65 meters out. Going for goal number one. Is it high enough, long enough, straight enough? Looks like he forgot to practice his kicking during the week. Bad kick, resulting in a free to the power. Hands like dinner plates. You know more about him than me, Richo. Reckon he can bag this one? He'll need a bigger kick than he has from here. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Davis with the kick. Spilled by Westhoff. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Marks. Gets boot to high. The contest, no match for him. Gray has super fast reaction time. He could catch an arrow. He steadies now in front of goal. Puts boot to ball. Dixon has given away a free kick. He gets boot to the ball. Ryder really forced to earn that mark. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. He gets boot to the ball. Mumford controls it. A favorable bounce. A solid mark from Green. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Just fell through. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Clean tap by Grider. Kennedy sends the ball on its way. A rushed kick. Patton presents and takes the mark. You know more about him than me, Richo. Reckon he can bag this one? He should have no problem kicking this one through. All is in readiness. Here's the bounce. Ryder can really set the tone of the game with his ruck work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. He slams that on the boot. He grabs it. A poor kick to his target. It's a mark. Wingard taking aim. Wingard drives the ball towards goal. Fantastic goal by Wingard. That's his first. And we have the first goal of the match. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Both Rucks have a fair shot at this one. Depth touch from Ryder. Kennedy on the ball at the moment. Looks like he panicked there. Going for goal number one. Through for the point. Less than a goal of difference, but Adelaide still in with a chance. Kicks hurriedly. The siren will sound soon to end this opening term. He has shanked that kick. Border control will be keen to look at this trafficking. The second term is underway. Develop the winning edge. Small differences in your performance can lead to large differences in your results. Johnson with the running catch. I haven't seen him for a while, Richard. You're right, Dennis. He's gone missing lately. Rydek with the punch. Watt is able to grab it on the half volley. Gray gets the hand pass. Collected by Williams. Haynes gathers. Dixon comes away with the ball. Takes possession. I haven't seen him for a while, Richard. That's right, Dennis. He just can't seem to get into this game. Rockcliffe has got an amazing vertical leap. He gets bumped. It's intercepted. Passes by hand. An empty field in front of Dixon. Dixon with a great kick. But Adelaide could score the last two goals. The power are in the lead. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Ryder thumps it forward. The bouncing ball is controlled. Short on the ball at the moment. His first touch of the footy. Broadbent grabs that one. Misses the intended target. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Gray is a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. Dixon with the mark. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. 
Dixon has a kick, a goal to Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide lead. Once goes the ball. Mumford gets onto the ball. A desperate kick there. He gathers the loose ball. Off the ground. Moves it quickly by hand. Boak hammers the ball for goal. Tomlinson with an easy mark. Kicks. Over the top of the pad. Griffin puts the ball in the hands of fate. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Motlop gets the upper hand. Lining up the goal now. Motlop hammers the ball for goal. Couldn't complete the mark. There was a hand in there, and I'm fairly certain it was before it crossed the line. Tomlinson has some great leadership skills, and leadership is about getting other players involved and being able to take it as well as dishing it out. The only way you're going to get respect from your teammates. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Rydek with first hands to the ball. A favourable bounce is in his possession. He keeps it alive despite the traffic around him. But his attempt was in vain. It's over the line. Umpire throws the ball in. Rydek outstretches his opponent to win the right. Boak sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Looks like the players are ready for this. Let's get started. How you respond to the challenge in the second half will determine what you become after the game, whether you are a loser or a winner. Good I bursting with inventive strategy right now to be sure of hitting the target. He's actually kicking first and calling whatever it hits the target. Lucky bounce collected. Lob is starting to get a lot of the football. The mark missed by Jonas. Guided by Cleary. Controlled by Burn Jones. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Oh, something must have carried that. It's a lovely long kick. Lining up the goal now, booted by Green. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Powell Pepper takes it well. That had some power behind it. Wingard with the mark. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. A chance to add one more to his tally. Tomlinson marks. GWS haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Ryder shoots for goal. He marks the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Powell Pepper from behind. That had some power behind it. The ball in the hands of Tomlinson. Westhoff just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Richo, you followed his career for a while. Can he kick this? He should kick this. 35 metres out. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't slot this one through. The power could score the last three goals. Port Adelaide by 15 points. Smith gets a nice bump from Motlop. The loose ball picked up by Ward. He's running hot, Richard. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. He's a ball magnet. Motlop runs in. Down goes Wingard. Wingard lines it up. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Wingard whacks one on the boot for goal. What a huge goal by Wingard. He'll be happy with goal number two. That's going away for Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide in front. Wingard is a first-class decision maker. He appears relatively unhurried when under pressure and constantly finds the best option in heavy traffic. What a great skill. Drake chucks the ball away. Picked up under pressure. Wingard onto the ball. He grabs it on the run. He gets another possession. Great grab. Coniglio is just ridiculously consistent. I'd like to see a clanger from him for a change. When coaches have someone like him in the lineup, they can just sleep a lot easier knowing how reliable he is. Cameron scoops up the ball. Lob has the ball, takes the possession. After the break, the players should be eager to get started and finish the game with a win for their side. You can always rest easy knowing that you gave 100%, win or lose. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. Cameron lines it up. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Cameron with the shot. Is it high enough? Long enough? Straight enough? 
Jonas will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. He wins the contest. Look, GWS haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. He slams that on the boot. Able to grab it on the half volley. He lays off the pass. Gets off a wobbly kick. Short marks. A desperate kick there. And the mark will be paid. He plays on now. And that torp has gone supernova. Takes it well. He's a long kick. What did they used to say at school? Butterfingers lets it drop. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Williams. Hands like dinner plates. Kicked in a flurry. Coniglio claims it. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Pittard directing the play. Sends it outside the 50. And the mark will be paid. Folks feeling the pressure gets the quick kick away. Powell Pepper gains possession through the interception. Great got under it. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Going for goal number one. Dixon swords over the pack and takes a ripper. He's got eyes like a pterodactyl with contact lenses. Nice kick. For that way, could score the last five goals. The power beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 39 to 13. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Coniglio has a lot of passion for this game. You can see it every time he steps onto the field. He's an inspiration to all players around him. That's a nice strong mark. Westhoff caught with the ball. Sending it on its way. Patton, just the better man in that contest. Richard, uh, what are his chances from here? Should kick this nine times out of ten, but you never can be sure. Patton unloads one towards goal. A mark by Powell Pepper. Not what he intended with that kick. Nice mark under pressure. Here's a chance for Wingard. The ball is slammed towards goal by Wingard. Dixon wins the marking contest. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Dixon scores with a beautiful kick. Final scores at 45 to 13. Well, that's it from us. Thanks for joining us, Richo. Thanks, Dennis. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Until next time, goodbye.